As we heard earlier, there's breaking news at Fremantle tonight. The club has confirmed they're investigating a matter involving Michael Johnson. Mark Harvey joins me now. Mark, is there anything more you can tell us? No, there's not, uh, Basil. Uh, obviously, about 20, 20 minutes ago, the club did release a statement, and I can't comment beyond that. All right, Mark, I understand that. Just briefly, I'll, I'll uh, let everybody know what that statement said. It was from CEO Steve Rossich. He says the club is aware of the matter and has informed the AFL. They're treating it very seriously, currently gathering all relevant information and will make a further comment when in a position to do so. And as you've just said, no further comment from the club until that time. So we will respect that. Friday night, outcast and maybe outthought, Mark. Yeah, I'm not sure about being out thought but we certainly uh, had some opportunities um, we probably gave them too many opportunities uh, we were always just trying to peg back a lead of two or three goals uh, regularly throughout the course of the game um, got a couple of injuries early that didn't help the situation so we've learned a lot from it I say out thought uh, principally involving the kick-ins that was a worry on the night just didn't work for you Mark well I thought we actually got hold of some of their kickouts too not that they had a lot so uh, there's different ways you can look at it. Bronx cheers and ever nice. Adam McPhee was copping them on Friday night. His form is a worry. I wonder, would you be doing him a favour by giving him a rest now? Look, I, I think we've had a, ha, had a really good start to the season, 6-2, and two, and he's been very much a, a part of that, so we wouldn't be making too many changes on form, I wouldn't have thought. Luke McFarlane, how's the injury? How long? Probably six weeks at this stage, so it's a medial ligament, so... Uh, but, you know, you, the powers and, uh, and the sports science these days, you never know, you might get back earlier. Well, that's a real blow, mate, but we wish you all the best. Sydney in Sydney on Saturday. Go get them, mate. Thanks.